Hey, welcome back everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We're in downtown San Francisco at Moscone West at the Professional Business Women Conference of San Francisco. This is the 28th year, 6,000 women, about 5% men here talking about uh, doing better in the workforce, inclusion, diversity, but this has been going on forever. Jackie Spears started it years ago, wow, almost three decades ago, and we're really excited to be joined by someone who's got some special tools to help people you know, really execute on this promise. Mm -hmm. It's Lisa Skeet Tatum. She is the co-founder and CEO of Landit. Lisa, welcome. Great to be here, thank you. Absolutely, so first of all, impressions of the conference, have you been here before, what do you think? This is my first time, I can't believe I've missed it all this time, to be here surrounded by all these amazing women and the same mission, which is how do we help people succeed and women particularly in the workplace, right. so it's fabulous. Well, let's jump into it, because you, you actually, as one of the, the mm -hmm. keynote speakers said, it's really not a strategy problem anymore, it's an execution problem. Everyone kind of mm -hmm. knows what they want to do, but how do you actually do mm -hmm. it? And your company, Landed, has a real specific um, mm -hmm. solution to help individuals as well mm -hmm. as companies. So Absolutely. give us kind of the, the mm -hmm. background on Landed and, and what you do, how long you've been around. Sure, well first I want to thank LinkedIn for inviting us here to collaborate with them on this panel of personal brand, and particularly Jacqueline Jones and Ty Heath. They're fabulous, fabulous collaborators. Uh, but our goal at Landed is to increase the success and engagement of women in the workplace, while also enabling companies to both attract and then retain their diverse talent. And we realize, as you said, that it's not for lack of motivation or skill or track record, it is where do I start? Right, right. And so our goal and our quest for democratizing career success is to create a personalized playbook, one size fits one, for every woman to more successfully navigate. And we enable companies in a turnkey solution to invest in their women to essentially path them better. Okay, so let's, I love that democratizing business success. That's exactly right. Okay, That's so exactly from, right. The, from mm -hmm. the individual side, mm -hmm. what are some of the specific tools that you found um, that mm -hmm. people were just lacking or they just mm -hmm. didn't know or they just needed that Absolutely. extra assist? Absolutely, Well, first it starts from being at an inflection point and that could be they're in a workplace, they're trying to figure out how to more successfully navigate, maybe they're stuck, which is where I was, they don't know how to get out of it, or they're looking for what's next. And the questions that come up besides where do I start is um, what is it that I want to do that fits with all of me? Maybe how do you develop your personal brand, which our session is about, because most people don't even know the power of a personal brand right, and the fact right. that it accounts for 25% of your success. How do I connect with a coach? It's one of the best kept secrets that most of us don't know. And then how do I manage my personal board of advisors, right? So a lot of people think about a mentor, but it's much more than that. It's about a mentor, it's about a sponsor, it's about continued education. So our goal is to knit all that together and essentially path you, because it's overwhelming. You think about, you get to one of these inflection points, you're like, gosh, I don't know where to turn, I don't know who to connect with, I don't know if there's quality, and I want it to be relevant to me, because there's a ton of information, but you know, we're all busy, I've, I'm the mother of two teenage boys, and so I want things that are relevant to me right. that I can action on. And companies, when they look at the massive problem of wanting to um, retain their talent, they've tried lots of things, we give them one neat, knit together turnkey solution where they know when they're winning, right, and they right. can measure. God, so there's so much so. things you, you touched Absolutely. on there. Absolutely. So I want to jump into a couple. Mm -hmm. What's the difference between a coach, and a mentor, and an advisor? Absolutely, so when you think of a coach, uh, which again, most of us don't have because it's reserved for someone who's in the C-suite, and we believe you have to bring it earlier on, but this is someone, an outside expert, who can help give you the framework, help hold you accountable, et cetera. So that is an expert, hired person in your corner. When you think about your board. And, you, and let me mm -hmm. hold yeah. you. So like what type of coaches do generally, I mean, sure. obviously if you're a CEO or mm -hmm. CEO of a mm -hmm. large company, mm -hmm. you know, you can hire the best of the best. That's exactly right. When, when you're not in mm -hmm. your, you know, mm -hmm. mid middle of your career, what mm -hmm. type of coaches are kind of the highest ROI? And that's exactly what we address because in this notion of democratizing access, why should I be a CEO before I get access to that high caliber? Right, right, so right. we went and we said, well, what do they get? And how do we bring that to anyone on the platform? Right. So we're talking an executive coach. Okay. Someone who can move you forward, power you forward, who's not in the risk of your day-to-day -day life, right, <laughs> but right. has the perspective and the pattern recognition to move you forward. So an executive coach, the exact same thing that a CEO wants, whether at a big company or a small, that's what we want the women on landed to And have. are these people, mm -hmm. so you've got, a, you've got a resource bank of these types that of 
that's individuals. That's exactly right. Through, All through certified, uh, very successful practices that believe, like I do, that you got to democratize that access. You have to get someone when they're at one of those inflection points in right. order to move them forward, to stop saying, you know, we have the largest number of professional, educated women, not fully engaged in the workplace, as we sit here today, workforce, and they want to be. Right, so right. that's one of the solutions. Your question about the board, if you think about a mentor, this is someone who you have coffee with, you talk to, you bounce ideas. If you think about a sponsor, this is someone who talks about you, someone who opens doors, someone who can help you see possibilities. Or you think about a connector, you know, someone who knows everyone. My right, co-founder is right. CEO of um, Care.com, uh, Sheila Marcello, she knows the world. So when there's someone who I don't know and I want to be connected to, I pick up the phone and I call Sheila. So you got to think about codifying your network so you have the right ask of the right person. Right. That's how you build your board, if you will, of which a coach is a component right. of that. Okay, then let's just so much we could go for like two hours. Well, yeah, hopefully you have much going on for the hey, day. Where are you going? Personal brand. You know, there's so yes. much talk about personal brand, obviously with, with, mm -hmm. with Twitter and, and for famous people now can for good mm -hmm. or bad, you know, can directly touch with their constituents. Yes. Before mm -hmm. before, you know, a, a mid tier professional or early stage professional, what is building mm -hmm. their brand and how, mm -hmm. how important is it for people that just don't understand? Absolutely. Well, first of all, mid-career is too late to start thinking about your brand. I have teenage boys, I tell them now, cultivate that brand. Whether you like it or not, you have a brand. The question is, are you in control of it? So some people say brand is what people say about you when you're not in the room. I say the personal brand is what do people say about you that they want you in the room. <laughs> so you have to cultivate that early okay. on. And so, but most people don't know the formula. It accounts for 25% of your success. And 25%. 25%. And what we realize a lot of time, people don't even know the mistakes that they're making, but it's holding them back. Right, right. So it's not just about working hard and keeping your head down. It is what is the authentic message that you signal to the world. Right. So what is this, the, the drop dead dumb thing that most people do that's the easiest thing to fix for your They don't brand. keep track of their accomplishments on a weekly basis. So they suffer from what we call LIFO, last and first out. So when it comes time to negotiate, to do your LinkedIn profile, to advocate for yourself, you don't have any facts, right? So facts and information is power. Right. Something so simple, end of the week, what did I do to further and myself, keep, my brand? Keeping it to, you know, just, mm -hmm. Putting it in your own little in your binder, your log, and or whatever. that's one it's of the features we have to put on your LinkedIn profile. That's exactly right, okay. and it's one of the features we have at Landa, which is every Friday you should be checking in. What did I do for myself? What did I do for my brand? What did I learn? And then when it comes time to do that profile, you can look at your repository and say, Oh yes, I did add value, or right. yes, I'm not spending a disproportionate amount of my time on housekeeping projects, which unfortunately women often do. Right. You know, I'm focused on things moving the business. Well, forward. that's like the classic, you know, busy versus productive that's thing, right? Exactly. It's just sometimes it's so much easier to do busy work. I that's think exactly many right. of us are guilty of that. Okay, so That's now exactly let's right. flip, the, flip mm -hmm. the, the bit here. Mm -hmm. And from the employer's point of view, what are some of the things that they need to do better mm -hmm. um, to help the women in their companies be more successful and, and by extension, the company be more successful? Absolutely. So I think one of the biggest challenges that our clients face is that they don't have a turnkey scalable solution to touch more lives, right? So often when you first join a company, you get lots of love, lots of good snacks, and then in the middle, what we call the forgotten middle, not so much because it's hard at scale to offer the tools that we do. And if you make it through to the end, you'll get some things. And, but that's where you have that whole leaky pipe issues. So what they come to us for is, whether it's your brand, your board, continuous learning, um, coaching, we knit that together in a way that's seamless. And we do it in a way that enables them to touch more lives. We have several uh, multinational companies that have women all over the globe and they can have a common experience. But because we're technology, they can measure. So they can see the engagement, they can see the pathing. Right, right. So for them, it's a win-win. It's a but it's all about, again, the power one size fits one, and you can only do that through technology with the appropriate human touch But you points. start you start with like the big program, and then and mm -hmm. then it gets customized or or, or well, it's driven by the, woman. by the individual. It's driven by the woman, okay. exactly. So the elements of success, the playbook, if you will, are common. But how it gets used, what it recommends, how it casts you, is all about the individual, and that's the power of being able to again knit it together, powered by technology, but not forgetting that there are humans involved. Right, right? you right. got to have those touch points. It's, it's interesting because people just get so busy at work, everybody Thank gets you. busy. You get Thank busy you. yourself, the mm -hmm. boss is busy, everybody's busy these days. That's right. Um, mm -hmm. So so is it is it suggesting like, hey, you know, you mm -hmm. should go to a professional conference or, mm -hmm. you know, hey, you should be doing mm -hmm. some of this or, you know, what are some of the, the little yes. steps that make a big difference that people mm -hmm. just are too busy to kind of pay attention to? Sure, so the best investment you can make is in yourself. And if you think about, you know, our sponsors within a company, whether it's their head of HR or development, it's hard for them to manage the careers of thousands of people, sure. right? 
And so we give them the way to allow the onus to be on the individual, right? For them to invest and right. manage their own career. Right. We want to do it, we just don't have the tools. Going to a conference, like this is a fabulous conference, but how do you knit things together in between conferences, right? right, right. Because our goal is, I don't know anyone, myself included, that's only had one inflection point. So how do we give you what you need when you need it? When you need it. That's exactly okay. right. Okay, and so how long has Landed been around? So we have been around out of stealth mode for about a year. Okay. Now, and uh, we have amazing, uh, again, clients. We have women from around the globe, 20, percent of our, our users are international. It's all ages, it's all functions, it's all careers, and uh, makes my mom proud. So. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> as she will be when she sees your CUBE interview. Exactly. Um, so, so as you look forward, if, if we're to yeah. sit down together a year from now, yeah. um, what are some of your top priorities, uh, mm -hmm. both for you per, uh, personally and professionally, but as, yeah. as well for Landit, mm -hmm. that's kind of the next couple of big hurdles that you guys want to Absolutely. Take. So we're on a crest for world domination. But <laughs> good. But that aside, our goal really is to unlock the talent of women around the globe. So we want to touch as many lives, whether it's women coming directly on the platform or as many companies as possible, and keep refining our product so that we're meeting our promise, which is we're going to give you, again, what you need when you need it in a one-size-fits-one way. Well, Lisa, I can't, uh, I can't wait to watch the story continue to unfold. You got Thank a you. great energy. Sounds like a terrific product. And, Thank uh, you. I th can, can men log in as well? They absolutely can. And okay, I should good. say, we don't develop tools for women. We develop tools for success. Okay, we good. just happen to focus on women. Okay, so. good, because I know I'm too busy to keep yeah. track of this stuff. <laughs> All right, she's Lisa Skeet Tatum from Landed. I'm Jeff Frick, and thanks for stopping by. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure. Absolutely. You're watching The Cube from the Professional Business Women at California Conference 28th Annual. Thanks for watching. Thank you.